Hey guys, what's up and welcome to a new League of Legends video. So after looking at some of the comments that you guys post, I see that a lot of you are wanting me to try and make some more sort of fresh material in terms of builds for champions. Well, hopefully this video is good enough for you guys because in this one I'll be talking about a build on a champion that I almost never see. In fact, personally, I don't think I've ever seen it ever in any of my games I've ever played in my League of Legends history. And this truly is something that I feel like will become popular as time goes on. So if you see it played in the LCS in a few months, you know where you saw first. We will be coining the name for this build, which we will call Necromals. First quick shout outs to my good friend Pokelaws, who definitely helped me out with thinking up this build. I'm gonna put his stream in the description underneath, definitely check it out. But onto the build itself. Now it's called Necromalzahar for a very good reason. As you see right now in the clip, I have Banner of Command that I used on a cannon minion of which I got the first tower mid lane within 12 minutes by myself. And quite honestly, this happens almost every single game because there's really nothing the mid laner can do about it. So if you haven't guessed, this build does revolve around Malzahar with his passive summoning the Voidling and using Banner of Command and buffing up minions to push down towers extremely fast. So for the first part of the game, you're playing extremely objective focus, trying to get as many turrets as possible as fast as possible. And once we get into the builds, I'll give you guys an extra option to which you can even further become a Necromancer, summoning even more minions. Before I go into the positives, I'm sure a lot of you are wondering, what the hell is this Banner of Command item? Well, let's quickly go into that because because I'm sure a lot of you are not really familiar with this item because simply no one ever buys it. It is an insanely underrated item which I'm really trying to bring back right now with this build, with Malzahar specifically. So for about 3000 gold you can see the stats, well they're really not that bad, I mean you get a bit of HP, 60 AP which isn't too bad, 20 MR, 10% CDR, your nearby allies get 20 MR and base HP increase and you get the main thing that we wanted for which is the promote active that we'll be using as much as possible. So you guys can see the stats that this item gives to each respective minion. From my experience buffing the siege minion is great when you wanted to tank the tower for a very long time when your team is there to siege it down. If a team fight erupts around the minions, definitely buff the caster to help you out. And you want to buff the melee minion with your banner of command when you want to take a tower down extremely quickly while no one is around because the melee minion gets a lot of bonus AD and a huge amount of attack speed and you're just going to watch that thing wail down at the tower. So quite honestly the item is not bad, but let's talk about the positives of Malzahar and this build. One of the major things that makes this work so darn well is the fact that the minion that you buff is completely immune to magic damage, which is another huge component as to why I think this is just so strong right now. With the current meta you're going to be seeing a lot of AP champions in the mid lane versus AD champions and this build is exceptionally strong against AP champions. Banner gives you MR, the minion is completely immune to magic damage so the person that you're laning against is going to have so much trouble killing them while they're wailing away at their tower. And overall the build that you do on Malzahar is going to be somewhat tanky. So you can get the towers down extremely fast especially the first towers. Malzahar has his own minion which is his passive plus the banner minion and then plus the extra item I'll talk about later. And on top of me thinking the banner is a pretty good item right now in the meadow having a lot of AP mid laner is not really being able to deal with the buff minion, Malzahar is also quite strong in the meta because there's so many tanks and he does a lot of percent damage with his W and especially once you get Leandri's plus his E. Oh yeah and did I mention that Malzahar's ultimate has a 1.2 AP ratio on it? This is why you can get away with building him AP tanky rather than just raw AP. But what if you have Baron buff plus banner of command? Well take a look at the video and you'll see the exact thing that happens. That siege minion in the back is ready to simply destroy these towers without any problem. So not only are you tanky, you're dealing a lot of damage, especially to tanks with your percent damage from your W and Leandries, and you just fit really well into the meta. The negatives of this build, well it's not that good against AD mids like Azed, Talon or Yasuo because they don't have to do magic damage to the minion to kill it. And the MR you get from the banner of command is completely wasted. You're not really a hyper carry because you're not building pure AP, you're just more objective focused which isn't really a bad thing though. So make sure you're going for those towers as often as possible early into the game the second you get banner of command. Malzahar is also known to be quite easy to gank because he doesn't have any escapes and his ultimate unfortunately makes him stand still just like his opponent making him quite Quite vulnerable, but since you're building tanky, that's not really that much of a negative either. But let's talk about the build, which is what I'm sure you guys want to see. Usually I start Dorns and a few pots, but you can't go wrong with a flask. So the very, very core items in my opinion that you have to get are of course Banner of Command, your Boots of Preference, usually Sword Boots, and the Leandri's Torment. Rallies and Avoid Staff are a very nice addition that I highly recommend. And you can also choose between other AP tanky items like a Rod of Ages, Zhonya's Abyssal, etc. And I put Deathcap because, I mean, it's Deathcap. But the last item 
I put there is the Zrod portal, which is a new item. And this is what I meant earlier when I said you can become an even more of a necromancer with the Smalzar Heart build, summoning even more minions with the Zrod portal, because all you do is simply put it down in an area, and every few seconds it throws out a little void lane that goes for the enemy tower and just tries to suicide to it. I personally think that's a little too much because the stats this item gives you is not really that good, but if you want to try it out, go for it. I just don't recommend it. My runes on Malzahar hard change depending on what I'm facing, which I'll actually make a video about eventually talking about how you want to use your runes in the mid lane, but for the most part you can use this page right here. For mastery as I go 21-9-0, I think this is pretty self-explanatory going into the defense tree because you are building somewhat tanky and you want that extra percentage HP and armor and MR. But that is it for this Necro Malzahar video guys, definitely a new one which I haven't seen and if you happen to be a Malzahar main who's been apparently running this build every single game, then I apologize to you, I don't really mean to steal your thunder, but I've never seen it and I think it's completely fresh and new. While also actually being quite good in the meta. So if you guys enjoyed it, please definitely throw in a like, share it with your friends, Tell me how you do in your games if you do end up trying it out. So hope you guys did enjoy this video and hope to see you next time. Peace.